Senator Ned Woko discloses retrieving 1 billion naira for constituency projects. Senator Ned Woko has revealed that he attracted about 1 billion naira for constituency project for his district in Delta State. Amid the controversy in the Senate concerning allocations for constituency project, Senator Ned Woko has disclosed that he attracted about 1 billion naira for his constituency. Recall the Senator representing Bauchi Central, Abdul Ningi, had accused the Senate of padding the budget by 3 trillion naira. This has prompted Jaribe Jaribe, a lawmaker representing Cross River North, to allege that some senators got about 500 million naira for constituency projects, while others like himself got lower. While the debate was continued across the board with some, like Senator Ali Indome, attesting that principal officers got more than others, the figure should have remained shrouded. In an appearance on the mic on podcast, however, Senator Ned Woko answered that he received about 1 billion naira. The host, Shane Wokin Baloyi, had prodded him till he eventually affirmed his postulation. Woko also advocated for the closing of the domiciliary accounts of the country and converting the funds to naira to grow the economy and stabilize the economy and stabilize the currency. The senator also reiterated his agenda for Nigerians to have the right to bear arms and defend themselves. He said, and I quote, He, Senator Ningi, has been suspended, but there is a proviso that if he writes and apologizes, he could be recalled if he admits his wrongs. I think we members of the Senate ought to have set up a committee to try and edify those projects. Know exactly what happened, whether what Ningi is saying is true or not. That is something we ought to have done. I believe the way things are done currently, especially the last two budgets, including the supplementary budget of last year, were not done properly. I would have preferred a situation where we all know what we are getting for our constituency. You don't need to lobby for it. Every one of the 109 senators should know from the outset what is going to their particular district. My proposal is that there should be one such training shooting range schools in every senator district, and they should be owned and run by retired military guards who are familiar with guns. What my bill seeks to do is to give the opportunity to those Nigerians who want to have guns, to have them. <laughs> Awa. Well, um, I don't think this thing they're doing is right. Is it actually right that senators are not getting this uh, equal allocation? Because I don't know how this thing is. It's you know, because I just say, country, I don't know how it work. But is it supposed to be right? Are they not supposed to be receiving the, you know, the same? Why some people go receive one billion? Why some people go receive five hundred million? Why some people go receive, you know, less? Why is it not uniform? Do you understand? And I like the fact you said they should not be lobbied for. But my own is why. They should not bring senior inside it too. The way we then use vote for you know, so they use vote for the other person. So it's nothing, there's nothing to me, there's nothing really special. Uh -huh. So the thing is, you understand me? Papa Ned, they know they give Nigerian man gone. No? Even now, the few we get gone for their hands don't become kingpins. We think will happen if the guns they every person hands. You see, you they see how common argument for Nigeria blue don't enter. Now go on, you go say make everybody one carry. It is good to defend oneself, but Najama never mature reached that level. Mm -hmm. Well, to understand, Sha, it makes sense. But you know, you know why some people go need get them. Why some people go need get them? It is because of this uh, kidnappings here and there. Imagine say you just did now, you did for your car. Like, I watched a particular clip where one lady said she was in her car, oh, she was on traffic, the traffic was too much. You know, those trend of traffic, I think the, the lady was, was a, she was reporting from Lagos, you know, she said one man was going from car to car and she saw the man with a child. Normally, she would not have, you know, she knew would shake body, she would do hard gear or hard beep. But this man was the child, and she has a soft spot for kids. Just as she wind down her glass to say, yeah, now, Oga, manage this. How much was she say she was even holding? Is it 500 or how much? Manage this one, I did 200. 
that is how the man brought out gun. So imagine, say, person, as person they shy you, you they shy you, they shy. <laughs> as person they shallow you, you say they shallow him. No person will tell and say make head straight. Somebody come now enter a house like all these people they always saying eh, they're being attacked. You know you hear many people they're being attacked and eh, full of people. By the time you pet the person who knife. You hold your own, shakabula. You understand? For real, everybody, no need for go come. You understand? Your confidence level go to 1,000. Go tell and say, you won't know if I go gone. If you do any uh, one step like this, you are gone. This is me just saying, this is how some people tell you. Why some people be, yes, this is the disadvantages of having this particular, you know, Thing everywhere is that um, any small thing your neighbor if you follow you talking to yourself we will go bring out your own send them to the grace beyond you understand that is one thing uh -huh. people can, can start overusing it just like um, abroad we hear now of this one this one massacre that's why that's one massacre why guns there for people how will be saying no days i get plenty of people in nowhere for you where they work where does this and they will you understand before you know they don't go attack people you get over to Nigeria now to hold their citizens responsible for not performing well in each of their communities. Yes, I like the way we say uh, they press this guy neck on selling talk. How much we say they give him. Now, saying how much they give you is certainly not the problem. But you know the problem? You must work with it. You will come as I can't give, I can't say, see waiting, I carry this money, do... Nobody will talk about this nonsense because it is not a part of you. How? I don't understand. What do you mean by talk about this nonsense? Okay. But me, I'm of the opinion that Senator should be giving at least the money. What thing do you think they did? Like I said, nah. The same way they used to elect you. Now they used to elect other senators. So why are you going? Why are you supposed to be? Why didn't they talk and say, nah, senior, senior, junior, I don't care. Whether the person come today. Whether the person come yesterday. The person is appointed, I mean, was elected, is, was elected like you. And the person has the right to, you know, the same money. And just like Ned Wopro suggested, they should not be lobbying for the money. Now, money lays work for constituency. And as they are giving them, there should be proof of, oh, this is what I use the funds for. You understand? And so it's supposed to be. There should be proof that, ah, see what I use the money for. So that, you know, we'll carry for my say, then give me money. You know, see within, I use the money to. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to the lesson. Until I come your way next time, enjoy.